up. All right, Smashing Pumpkins are coming to Levant. Man, they, where are they? When are they from? They're from like what, 1979? That's a joke, obviously. They're from the 90s. It's Book Review Tuesday. Pulling out the back Shapiro. Okay, awesome book I just happened to discover. It's called How We Got to Now. And it is just so incredible by Steven Johnson. All right, Steven breaks it down into six categories. And I'll show you what those are in the table of contents. Remember when you were in like elementary school, I said, this is the spine of the book. This is the jacket of the book. This is the table context. This is the index. It's good information. Learned a lot. Okay, so table of contents has six chapters. Let's check it out. Chapter one, glass, cold, sound, clean, time, and light. He breaks down history into those six categories and he does it amazing. So for example, glass, right? Chapter one. I'll give you a little expert. Basically, he takes it from sand, which is what glass is made out of, talking about how a meteor or lightning made uh, desert sand into glass one day. And then he brings it from that stage all the way to fiberglass and fiber optics, which is basically how you're streaming this YouTube video right now. So he literally connects it from ancient times to the discovery till now. He does it again with coal. And on page 70, I have an expert that I'd like to share with you today. Hey, good morning, you're on YouTube. Yes. All right, so here we go. Um, it says, a slow freeze allowed the hydrogen bonds of ice to form larger ice shapes. But a freeze that happened in seconds, aka flash freezing, as we now call it, generated much smaller crystals than did less damage to the food itself. So that's where Clarence Birdseye uh, discovered this when he was uh, ice fishing. And initially, after he caught the fish, it froze and so he discovered this flash freezing technique which you use every day when you eat those meals out of the freezer another expert i had was on page 136. okay so in chapter clean he talks about the importance of germs and cleanliness so it's a well-known story hi good morning it's a well-known story that hungarian physician Igan Schmachwells was rounded, roundedly mocked and criticized by the medical establishment when he first proposed in 1847 that doctors and surgeons wash their hands before attending their patients. Yes, this was crazy knowledge back then, but now it's common practice and you're a fool if you don't. It also mentions in here about how you're crazy if, uh, or it was okay to deal with like a corpse and a birth in the same afternoon. Remarkable. So link of course is down below. Honestly, if you're just interested in a little bit of technology and history, this book is crazy interesting and uh, super informative. There's Steven right there on the back. Oh, I can't recommend it a lot. I love that breeze through it because it's so freaking interesting. Awesome product, awesome book. That's the thing, thanks for watching.